Oh, yeah, that is an Elvis tune all shook up, and I'm kind of shook up about our next guest because he has charted over 20, think about that, over 20 number one hits, including Loved Him Everyone, Last Cheater's Waltz, and Devil in the Bottle. His latest song is one you're gonna love. It's called I Wanna Live Like Elvis, and it's Priscilla Presley approved. So in a moment, He's going to sing it for us, but right now, would you please welcome one of our very favorites, T.G. Shepard. T.G., <laughs> great having you here. Thank you, Governor. Hello. You know, uh, we are uh, right in the middle of that time when we're observing the 42nd anniversary of the death of Elvis Presley. And I think, T.G., in some ways, he's more popular now than he was. Oh, I mean, I can't believe it's been that long. I it, mean, it's, really? Yeah, I mean, it went 42 so 42 years ago. Yeah. That was I mean, before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear Well, you know, uh, Elvis Week is coming up at Graceland. Yeah. And uh, we're always very honored to be involved in whatever way we can be. And, of course, recently I have become involved with Elvis, more with Elvis Radio. I was going to say, you've got a, a, a channel now, yeah. a show on the Elvis channel on Sirius XM that you do every week. That's it, pretty cool. It is cool. Every Friday from 2 to 5 Central... Uh, it's the T.G. Shepard Show on Channel 19, uh, live from Graceland. And in the past, uh, we're into our sixth week. Um, so far, our guests have been everyone from Barry Gibb to Lionel Richie to Kit Rock to... Oh, One of these days, it. you'll get some really named guests. Who like, knows, uh, like Mike Huckabee. Yeah, you know, that's really. incredible, though, the number of people. But, I mean, everybody loves Elvis, and he's touched every entertainer that's ever graced the stage. You ask any entertainer who comes on my show how Elvis has influenced them, and each one has a story. Everyone has a story of what Elvis has meant to them in their career. But very few people have your story, T.G. I think it's one of the most incredible stories. I don't know if all of our audience knows, you virtually grew up at Graceland. <sighs> Tell us how well, you even met Elvis and this friendship, because you were one of the closest people to him. I was a runaway at the age of 15. I went out to chase this dream that God has let me catch. Huh. And uh, I wound up in Memphis uh, chasing it. And late one night at a skating rink, uh, I'm leaving after being there. And uh, the lights go out. And uh, I'm thinking they're closing it up. And a couple of Cadillacs pull up. And Elvis gets out from behind the lead car and walks right up to me. And he says, where are you going? I said, well, sir, they're, uh, they're closing the rink down. He said, oh, no, they're opening it up for me. <laughs> and he said, we play a little game in here called Kill, and I'm a man short on my team. Will you come in and skate with us? And wow. I did for several hours. That was the start of a friendship that lasted until the day he passed. This song that you're going to do tonight is one, I, I can't tell you how much I love this song because I'm an <laughs> Elvis fan to begin with, and what a great time for you to release it right around uh, Elvis week. Um, hey, as T.G. Shepard is getting ready to sing, Keith Bilbrey is going to tell you how you can get a hold of his music, including this incredible song you're about to hear. For information on T.G.'s tour dates and his new country record, Midnight in Memphis, be sure to go to his website, tgshepard.com. That's tgshepard.com.